My name is Mariah Cowhor. I'm an Oklahoma real estate broker, an event venue owner, and a mom of two boys. Come along with me as I juggle family, career, and everything in between. There's nothing I can't do, and even when it seems impossible, I always find a way to make it happen. We are at my sister's, my sister and my brother-in-law's uh, lake house. It is one of the most relaxing places ever. Got our fishing poles, you can lay out, you can swim, tube, boat, everything. So my sister and her family live in Nebraska. They have lived there for many, many years. I'm not much of a traveler, but when I do, I love to go and visit her. They ended up buying a lake house in the last six months. So we decided to go up to Fremont, Nebraska, check out their lake house. And the weekend was perfect because it was the 4th of July weekend. So there was a, I mean, a lot, a lot of stuff going on. Some of the super fun things that we did was ride our golf cart around through the community. And I don't even know if I saw the entire area because it was so big. We went through some trails. My sister drove me through the trails and every two seconds a tree was just like hitting my face. It was awesome. We hit some golf balls. The boys just had a blast. We shot off fireworks. We met all the neighbors. We went paddle boarding. We went kayaking. So it was a lot of fun. Um, I'm not much of a traveler, so heading up to Nebraska for some rest and relaxation at the lake house is perfect. Leave it to me to do something real estate related when I'm on vacation. We ended up finding an open house and you better believe that I went to go check that thing out. And we actually got to meet the builder who handled the beautiful renovation. They did a phenomenal job. Every single detail was very well done. My favorite thing would probably be how they made sure that the living and dining and kitchen area were open. And it had this massive like, countertop that just wrapped around the living room and ample for incredible seating for all of your guests. Because when you are at the lake, you have a lot of guests. So we really enjoyed stopping by there. My other favorite thing probably would be the backyard, the back the back covered patio, I should say. It was really beautiful and the fire pit put off phenomenal heat. This was a really well done job on the builder's part. Let's talk about Thunder Valley. Thunder Valley is located in Noble, Oklahoma. And if you are from Oklahoma, you have at least been to Thunder Valley or you know of Thunder Valley. It's quite a place. I am guilty. I've never been there <laughs> until recently, until my husband took me. But my husband, when he grew up, that's all they did in high school or the weekends was go to Thunder Valley, watch the racing. Um, I'm sure they've even raced some of their vehicles before. We ended up getting an opportunity to be one of the private investors into Thunder Valley in the last year. So my husband and I took the dive and we did it. So we are one of five that is now um, behind the scenes. Thankfully, I get the, I call it the Princess Peach Tower. I get to go up into the private suite that not many people know about and I can watch all the people. I'm such a people watcher. I can watch all the people and the cars. Have a good rest of your day, enjoy the races.
My husband took me out for the weekend and we got to go see a really big event that they have once a year. It was Armageddon 8. If you are looking for property, like a home or land on the west side of Norman, it's really difficult. It's really difficult to get in the west side of Norman. <laughs> and I keep saying west side of Norman. <laughs> I had a client that we were trying to find some property for them to build a home and put their horses and all the fun things on the west side. I was like, you're never gonna find it. Well, they did. I didn't even do my job correctly. They found they found the land and they found this tiny sign on the side of the road. I ended up calling the guy and he was like, you know what, I do, I have five acres right here. I ended up purchasing five acres. Then my in-laws were like, oh my gosh, we, we need five acres. So they bought five acres. And the owner said, listen, you're just kind of getting these off my to-do list. This is awesome, I want you to list everything. So I ended up in that whole square mile listing all the five acre tracks that he has. There's only currently, real time, two left. Um, and then three 20 acre parcels and a 35. Maybe one day where I retire will be on that five acres and it's just a nice little nugget of land to have because I always tell my clients, you need to invest in land. They're not making any more of it. So we are checking out some of our duplexes. We owe, we own, we own all of these duplexes. And this was a tenant that decided they were gonna stop paying. So we're gonna check it out. See how overgrown it is. We're checking out our duplexes. Do you know the combo for the front door? She said they were living here without water. Okay, I'm in. Yes, ma'am. Okay, if yeah, no, no, it's not you. Thank you. Oh, is that really? Hmm? It's disgusting. No, I don't want to go on and put bed legs. Oh my god. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Out. Well, I don't expect to. Do what? It's like bread, bugs, everything. Yeah, they need to hurry up and get this crap out of here. Yeah. And that is the unfortunate part of owning your own rentals. You never know what kind of tenants you're gonna get, what they're capable of. So hopefully the next tenants we have uh, ready to move in that are anxiously waiting to get in will treat our stuff with respect. Here at a broker's open, I am with my favorite title rep. I have been closing the Chicago title for about a decade a now. Decade, yes. And Torin is also one of my best friends. So I came out to see this beautiful Denali home today, get some Chick-fil-A, meet some, well, I don't need to meet the title rep because I have a title rep, but met some lenders, some good people, other realtors. And so Torin, yes, tell me a little bit about the title side. So on the title side of Brokers Opens, we just kind of come in at this particular Brokers Open. We are here supporting one of our builders. Um, he is a custom builder in Norman. So we very much appreciate him and we like to show our appreciation by donating whatever he needs to get agents through the door for these type of Brokers Opens. And it works because it, it is a packed house and it's a beautiful house. And I hope you guys check out the entire video so you can see how awesome Denali homes are.
It's been a great summer. I'm looking forward to all of the fun events we have coming up in fall, and I cannot wait for you guys to tune in to the next Make It Happen.